Welcome to Tales of the Getaway Guy, an adventure into 23 years of TV getaways all across New York State and beyond. Our travels will also venture into 23 years of radio days where my broadcasting career began. Hold on, I've got everything you'll need for your next getaway. Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy, thank you again for joining us. I'm nice and warm in my new flannel shirt that my sister got me for Christmas. Thank you, Maureen, um, because it's winter. And that's what today's podcast is all about, winter getaways. When it's cold outside, you're trapped inside, and you'd love to get out for just maybe an hour or two and go somewhere. But where do you go here in upstate New York? There aren't The mailbox is occasionally a fun trip for me, anyway, in the middle of February. But no matter what month it is, if it's winter... I've got some ideas for you and the whole family. So today we're going to focus on a couple of good winter getaways. And by the way, for the rest of this month and next month, I'll be throwing in some winter getaways that you and the whole family can enjoy. Some will you'll like and some you won't. Some you'll be able to do, others you won't. But at least you'll get a variety of ideas. And that's what this show is all about. Remember, you can always go to our uh, site, our website, thegetawayguy.com, and click on any of our podcasts. You can listen to them. You can watch them, thegetawayguy.com. That's where you'll find everything. All right, first getaway. This one is great. This one is closer than you think. If you live in the Rochester area, have you ever been to the Lamberton Conservatory? I have done many shows there in the middle of winter when I was doing TV news, Channel 9. Well, you can go to the Lamberton Conservatory and get just a blast of the tropics. That's what I love about it. Um, yeah, it's always, I'm going to guess upper 70s, low 80s inside. And I'll tell you, if it's if it's January or February or March, and, you know, we're likely to get maybe a high of 10, <laughs> this is a great getaway. And you can bring the whole family, and it's cheap. Lamberton Conservatory, it's under the glass dome over at Highland Park, right off of South Avenue. Uh, easy to find, plenty of parking along the street there. Exotic tropical plants, just beautiful plants everywhere. And you kind of walk through this maze of plants. And it's fun. It's nice. There's wildlife there, a turtle and a duck and some birds. So watch where you walk. Uh, the walkway does take you through many different gardens in the warmth. That's the bottom line of this getaway. It's warm and it's cozy and it's tropical even if it's just for 45 minutes or an hour, and that's pretty much how much time you'll spend there, you'll get that blast of, of the tropics, which I'm telling you, in the middle of winter, it does does a body good. Um, the favorite spot for me at the Lamberton Conservatory is the desert plants, the cactus, and the succulents. I feel like I'm in the Southwest every time I walk through there for just a brief moment. It takes me to Arizona, and I just love that kind of thing in the middle of winter. But you can find that at the Lamberton Conservatory, a great getaway in the middle of winter. Now, they're open every day from 10 a.m. to 4 o'clock. Uh, right now, through the 19th of January, they still have their holiday show going on, holiday botanical show through the 19th. So they're open Fridays and Saturdays till 9 p.m. Um, it's fairly affordable. $3 for adults, $2 for seniors and kids, five and under, are free. So bring the whole family. It doesn't cost you a whole lot of money. And it helps support this kind of thing in Highland Park. Believe me, they're not making money off you. They're making enough money to continue to maintain everything that goes on there. They have wonderful volunteers that'll help you. Nice people, a great getaway. Lamberton Conservatory. By the way, they have this holiday botanical show through the 19th that I mentioned with a poinsettia tree. I think there's like over 100 poinsettias, I hope you like them, uh, built up into a, a tower. It looks like a Christmas tree. It's beautiful. That's just visually uh, a fun thing till the 19th. Highland Park Conservancy dot org is the website to go to highlandparkconservancy.org it's on 180 reservoir avenue the lamberton conservatory nice little getaway in the middle of winter and uh speaking of tropical well not really tropical but warmth warmth nice cozy warmth of a restaurant how about the north side inn over on um uh, Linden Avenue and Washington Street, East Rochester. One of my favorite getaways when I'm looking for good Italian food. And we thank the Northside Inn for coming 
to uh, to be a part of our show. Uh, Italian food, my favorite is the Muscles Marinara, and there it is. You order that, you tell them the getaway guy sent you, and they'll give you a little extra marinara. On, uh, don't hold me to it, but <laughs> when I order it, they all ask for it. Tell me you want a little side of extra marinara sauce, and, and they'll take care of you. They've been there since 1949. Uh, the North Side Inn, great people, great family operation, open every night until, uh, well, except Mondays, at least for now. Uh, but it, it's a great getaway if you're looking for good, hot Italian food in East Rochester, the North Side Inn, one of my faves. And uh, uh, boy, I've been going, I got to stop going there so much. That Italian bread that they leave on your table, mamma mia. Uh, <laughs> another winter getaway that I think you're going to love. Did you know we have an aquarium nearby? A lot of people don't know this, but there is an aquarium indoors, nice and warm and cozy. It's in Niagara Falls, New York. So an hour and a half away from Rochester, it's not too bad. If the roads are good in the middle of winter, nice and clear, and that's the only time I would go, uh, and you can make your way safely to Niagara Falls, New York, like I say, an hour and a half away, we've got the Aquarium of Niagara, USA. Penguins and sharks, and they do a seal show. Uh, tons of sea animals. They're open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And then their hours do change and fluctuate a little bit. So it's like through the holidays, they were open till 6 p.m. Now it's 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. My suggestion would be go to their website. You have to buy your tickets online in advance anyway. Go to aquariumofniagara.org. Grab your tickets. Check out the, uh, the hours to be sure. Now, it's not the cheapest getaway in the world, but it's the only aquarium that we have within a couple of hundred miles. Uh, and so parking is like five bucks. And then to get in, adults, $19.95. Seniors are $17.95. Kids aged 3 to 12, $14.95. Two and under are free. It's on Whirlpool Street in Niagara Falls, New York. Of course it's on Whirlpool Street. It's right near the falls. In fact, from one of the platforms outside of the aquarium, you can see Niagara Falls. It's right there. Check it out. Aquarium, you know, you can make this a day trip and maybe include the falls. And believe me, Niagara Falls in the middle of winter is also pretty cool. They light them up at night with illumination. So, you know, you got to find the right day to do it, a comfortable day. And we get our share of good days in the middle of winter, believe it or not. But if it's cold, you want to get inside with uh, all the uh, the animals of the sea, check out the Aquarium of Niagara in Niagara Falls, USA. I recommend it. Aquariumofniagara.org. Nino's Pizza. When you come back into town and you want a pizza and you don't want to cook, go to Nino's. I do. Uh, it, they've got great, great Sicilian-style pizza uh, over on Culver Road near Merchants. Culver near Merchants. It's 1330 Culver Road. Uh, I think it may be one of the best pizza. I just found out we were like named, Rochester was named one of the best pizza places uh, around. And and, uh, and this definitely uh, helps us. Um, here's, here's the proof that I was there. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry. Just one more pizza. It's thick Sicilian style pizza. They make it like nobody else does. They open your box of pie before you take it home for your approval. This is clearly an Italian Sicilian pizzeria. Say hi to Giacomo for me. Good people there. It's a hole in the wall on Culver Road, but boy, you won't be sorry you went to Nino's if you like it. Thick Sicilian style pizza. Nino's has been a part of our podcast for a while now. We thank them very much for being a part of the show. Now, occasionally we'll get podcast questions. People go to MikeTheGetawayGuy.com. Nope, I take that back. That was the wrong one, isn't it, Joe? It's MikeTheGetawayGuy at gmail.com. Maybe it's the shirt, um, but go there and ask any question you want about travel for me. You can also order my uh, travel books, too. If you didn't get one for Christmas in your stocking, you can get them now uh, for the upcoming spring and summer and fall day trips. I've got 50 of them in each book. You buy volume two, I'll give you volume one for free. And that's only $14.95 plus shipping and handling. So you can message me about a request for a book, and I'll even sign it to whoever you want me to sign it to, maybe yourself. Mike, the getaway guy at gmail.com to order a book or ask a question like Tracy did 
in Geneva, New York. Dear Getaway Guy, uh, I am looking for an art museum getaway for our family. Uh, can you recommend any in the Syracuse area? Because uh, Geneva, you're between Rochester and Syracuse, in essence. So I can see why she might want to do that. Yes, uh, Tracy, I have an idea. In fact, I have two ideas. The first one is uh, a place that I went to about 10 years ago when I was on Channel 9 doing getaways. And it was a getaway to a museum in the Syracuse area called the Everson Museum. And to tell you more about this getaway, well, why not play the show? Here it is. Museums don't have to be boring. This one isn't. Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. I'm in Syracuse. This is the Everson Museum. Come on. The building itself is a work of art. Designed by renowned architect I.M. Pei that opened in 1968, Pei also designed the famous glass and metal pyramid at the Louvre in Paris. You could say that the Everson here in Syracuse is all about art inside a work of art. It is not your average art museum. You know, they should just come with an open mind. We have a huge collection with a variety of, you know, 18th, 19th century paintings to ceramics to sculptures, both indoor and outdoor, modern stuff, older stuff. So there's really something for everyone. You won't be disappointed. The international ceramic collection here at the Everson is staggering. In fact, it's one of the largest holdings of ceramics in the nation. From yesterday to today, it's all here at the Everson Museum of Art. There's a current exhibition here called On the Move, right up my alley. It has everything to do with travel in America. Travel, from the Industrial Revolution to travel in our own era. Oh, the memories. That's what makes it fun. The exhibition runs through May 25th, and that's just one of the many. You never know what kind of art you'll find here at the Everson. The Everson Museum of Art is easy to find, just off Interstate 81, at exit 18, the Harrison Street exit. A pay for parking lot is right across the street from the museum. We get a lot of comments from families on what a fun place this is. Um, we only have a suggested donation, so it's a very affordable destination for families. They can come and spend as much or as little time as they want with no pressure. You know, the kids can explore, they can play in the children's gallery, and then see some of the exhibitions as well. So, it's a nice afternoon getaway. And if you get hungry while you're here, there's the Museum Cafe. Or how convenient for bigger appetites? Dinosaur Barbecue is right across the, the downtown. Probably take you about five minutes to drive there. <laughs> this could make a great family day trip open every day of the week except Mondays. And don't forget to turn off your cell phone from the Everson Museum in Syracuse, New York. I'm Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. Yeah, it's a great getaway in the middle of winter because it's all inside and it's not that far away, especially if, like Tracy, you live in Geneva. Um, and by the way, the admission price has changed. Remember the show when I did it was about 10 years ago, so it's gone up from $5 to $8. Not a big deal. And it's a great bargain to get into this great museum, the Everson. And by the way, here's a travel tip. If you're in that area, Syracuse, just go a little bit further down the throughway to the Utica exit and another nearby art museum, and this is a great one, it's called the Munson Williams Museum, Utica, New York. It's an amazing art museum. You won't believe the treasures inside. No one talks about it. No one, but you know what? I've got it in my travel book, one of the many 50 of my getaways inside, but I thought I'd include it in the book because it's one of those places that not a lot of people know about. Again, it's the Munson Williams Museum, Utica, New York, some great works of art, including Jackson Pollock's number two from 1949. This thing is like 18 feet long. You should see this. It's like the jewel of the museum uh, and many, many other great works of art. You're going to like it there. Uh, I would highly recommend that in Utica, the Munson Williams uh, Museum. Um, so those are some ideas for this winter when you got to get out of the house and... Uh, you need a good little getaway, a little blast of warmth. You can find it in the aquarium of Niagara. You can find the warmth and tropical 
temperatures at the Lamberton Conservatory here in Rochester or check out one of the museums we've mentioned on the show. I want to mention Jim's on Main, one of our sponsors. They've been with us since the start. Jim's on Main, I just saw Elena. She's the owner and, and her and her family put on such a great restaurant for you. Uh, great breakfast, really inexpensive, exactly what you want if you want that coffee cup to just never end. They keep filling it up. I've yet to see the bottom of my coffee cup at Jim's on Main. And breakfast like you can't believe. The Late Riser, highly recommended. It has everything you want for one low price. Includes your coffee on weekdays. There it is right there. That moments that picture was taken moments before that was devoured instantaneously by someone I know. Uh, but Jim's on Main and Jim's at the mall at Grease Ridge Center. They're not uh, Jim's on Main, just down from the Auditorium Theater. You can park in the Black Friars Theater parking lot, which makes it a lot easier. Uh, but they're not open on Monday, at least for now. The one at the mall is open all the time. Either place has great food. Thank you for being a part of our show, Jim's on Main. And thank you to the North Side Inn. And thank you to Nino's Pizzeria. And thank you to Joe here at Classy Wolf Media. Well, this has been a good show, and I hope you've enjoyed it. We have all our podcasts at one place, and you can see them and hear them at thegetawayguy.com. That's thegetawayguy.com. Check it out. Let us know what you think. And you can email me, like I say, mikethegetawayguy at gmail.com. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Mike O'Brien, your getaway guy. <laughs>